Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the next component of blood that is white blood cells which are also called leukocytes. So these white blood cells are very less in number when compared to the RBCs. In fact when you when we had performed the centrifugation experiment there also we saw that in that test tube even less than 1% was uh, that layer from which our WBC cells, WBCs were found. So they are very less in number. But you know they perform a very uh, wonderful job. So if you look at their numbers, some 4000 to 11000 of the WBCs are present in one microliter of blood. Now when you compare this number with the RBCs counts, almost more than 5 million RBCs are present. And here only few thousands, 4000 to 11000 our WBCs are present. So they are, number wise they are very less than RBCs. These are nucleated colorless cells. So they have nucleus. Like in case of RBCs they do not have nucleus but WBCs have nucleus. So you see these are all different examples of WBCs and everywhere inside you can say you can see a nucleus but they are colorless. So now RBCs are red colored due to the presence of hemoglobin but here there is no hemoglobin so no color so they are colorless but the most important job which they perform is that they help fight infection and builds the immune system of the body so what is the immune system now have you ever heard people saying that you know this boy he tends to fall ill very frequently because he is very weak because his immune system is not strong. So what is that immune system? And you also say it's for some people that you know he eats so healthy, he leads a balanced life and that's why you know he is very strong. He doesn't fall ill very frequently. So he has a strong immune system. So what is immune system? So it is basically that system, it is the defense system of our own body. So immune system protects our own body to fight against infection. So that if somebody, if a person has a very weak immune system, he will be more vulnerable or he will get attacked by any disease more quickly. So he will fall ill more frequently. But if somebody has a very strong immune system, his body will have the capability to fight against diseases. So the resistance against diseases will be more. So that's immune system. Now these white blood cells, they form the immune system. So they help to fight infection and that's how they uh, protect our body. Now these WBCs, another important point to be noted here is that even though they are a component of blood, but they are not only limited to blood, they are also present in other parts of our body like spleen, liver, lymph glands. So these are some other parts where we can also find WBCs. And uh, talking about their shape and size, they exist in a variety of shapes as well as sizes. But please remember that even though they are very less in number, but this job which they do, that is uh, building the immune system and fighting against infection, this is a very wonderful job. In fact, you know, in fact, there are certain diseases which are like almost fatal. One such example is AIDS. I, I am sure you would have heard of AIDS. A lot of ads also come on your television for AIDS. Now, those who suffer from AIDS, they do not survive. Do you know why? Because in AIDS, their immune system is attacked. So the immune system is like gone. Now, when the immune system is not working, in that case, if somebody gets a small infection also, maybe a small bacterial or a small viral infection, so that infection will not get okay on its own. So it will become so fatal that it will cause death of that person. So this uh, function of WBC is extremely important. Now these WBC cells, their longevity is very less. So their lifespan is only for three to four days inside the human body. Like in case of red blood cells, they have a lifespan of almost 120 days. But here they live only for three to four days. That's it. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.